somebody just asked me if um, I could film the process of cleaning out and reorganizing my bookshelf, so I thought I'd do that. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be crouching like this, if that's even necessary. But basically, um, if you've been watching my reading vlogs, you might know that this shelf is going to go to Vienna with me probably. And I have a new shelf, not a new one, but like my mom's getting rid of one shelf as well. So she's giving that to me, and it's like one that's, I think it's like probably this tall. But it's um, from the floor up, so there's like a lot more space. And I still have the mess here from like filming my end of the year wrap up stuff. And yeah, basically, I just need to clean this out and then reorganize a bunch of stuff. So you're coming with me. I hope this is like at all a relevant, like useful angle. It's kind of difficult to get a shot of like my entire bookshelves. So we're just gonna tidy it up, like clean it out for now, and then um, I'll give you like an update on what the next step is going to be. So I took a little filming break because there was a lot of like inane stuff that was happening that I didn't really feel like filming. But basically we moved this, like just don't even, just don't even. But we, this was over here and it basically was blocking my, this door and also it was way too close, like it was literally squeezed in here. So we moved that into this corner because it fits perfectly, it's under a mirror, it's perfect. And this is my new shelf. Dun 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 dun. I'm so excited, I have so much more space now. Um, well basically I have like one extra shelf and then like all this down here. So I think down here I'm just gonna put boxes of books maybe or like somehow like pile them like this like my twilight books or my harry potter book like that i don't really care as much about to like display and by harry potter books i mean my old ones um the new ones i do display but yeah so this is the new shelf and i think it's time to put some books back on there <laughs> Okay, so far, so good. This is an updated look right now. So top shelf, again, I have my non-fiction. It's not complete yet because of, um, you know. But <laughs> this is also going to go somewhere else. It's just a bunch of decoration. And I, I really like this. As I, If you saw that vlog, this was a Christmas gift from my little sister. And I think it's actually a perfect bookmark right here because it's very sturdy and it can't fall. Like... You know, I also have one up here that's really heavy because otherwise it would be kind of dangerous. Then these are now my adult general fiction. So, um, so far it's okay to, I it, it works for me to just have like one row and one shelf. So if I can keep that up, I'd be really happy because I hate like having to do two rows. Down here I have my YA, just general YA. Um, actually used to hate how it looks to like stack books this way but honestly I think kind of looks really pretty because they're so colorful and it kind of works because the space is very small kind of and then down here where the space is a bit bigger I have all my German Harry Potters except the first for some reason I don't know I think I lent it to my sister German Lord of the Rings 
Spanish Harry Potter. This one is the seventh in English. Uh, German Twilight, the first three. The whole in English, and then Short Second Life of Breach Hanner. And then over here, just some graphic novels, World of Warcraft art books, and stuff like that. And I think that's a good place for it because it's very... It looks pretty good, I think. Like, And I'm not really going to be reaching for these books very much, so they're kind of more just decoration at this point. <laughs> I think I'm not really going to do much to the overall organization because I don't really need to. Maybe put these somewhere else. <laughs> these are just um, like fantasies, but in this like weird edition. This is really pretty dumb. These are, these are pretty good. And then these are, I don't know, I need to reread them. And then this is just like romance fantasy, I guess, that I haven't read in ages. And they're all like these horrible, like, must market paperback editions. So maybe I'll also just kind of try to stack them. And then put something else in here with them. But I haven't really decided what yet. I could do maybe the rest of my graphic novels because right now they're all back here. Because there's too many. I just realized they're all from Image. <laughs> <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> Quick update, it looks worse than it did before. I finished with my crime mystery thriller type shelf. I can't do like just one row, so it's gonna be too bad. I'm hoping to just put the shorter books in the front so that I can at least still see what's actually behind them. I down here I put all these mass market paperbacks. There's some more behind it, but I feel like this looks really good to have like a solid front and then the graphic novels. And then now I'm working on these two shelves, which are finished fantasy series. And by finished, I mean either I own and have read the entire thing, um, or I don't plan on continuing the series, and then it also ends up on this shelf. But basically, down here or back here, I'm keeping my huge hardcovers that are so pretty. I wish I could, like display them a little bit more but like I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna see like everything and these are books that I'm not necessarily still reaching for so I feel like it's justified because this is also gonna be two rows So this is what I have now. I finished this one. This was a little bit of an issue because The Trader Queen is the third book in a trilogy and these were all very like the same, almost the same. There's a few outliers but they're the same size almost and then there's like the last book in a series that's just sometimes a little taller but like this is a hardback. So I thought I'd kind of solve it like this. Also these are technically standalones. Um, no wait, this is the beginning of a series. This is a standalone but they're all by the same author in the same, almost the same universe. And I thought, like, I just put them here. There's a gap. I don't like it, but apart from that, these shelves are done. I put my Harry Potters like this again as well, just because I actually kind of like it now. Just like um, a little bit of an accent, I guess, in the mix of um, books just normally shelved. Next, I'm going to tackle this one up here. This is my sci-fi dystopian kind of shelf. And then over here, where I keep 
my ongoing series and by that I mean series that I am still continuing um, there's not that many surprisingly in here at least not yet so we'll see so guys this is the finished product I finished putting in the rest of the books that were still on in the rest of my room um, I really like her looks now it feels first of all a lot cleaner because there's less dust everywhere and just it's I feel like a lot more put together I'm particularly excited about first of all having here like so much more space um, I mean I already had space but like just in general having more space for more series if I plan on reading them I can always move this to somewhere else and then also most importantly finally having enough space for my adult fiction now I did put <laughs> some books back there in like a pile. It's like mainly Sophie Kinsella books just because I don't really care for them. I've been debating whether I should unhaul them actually but I felt like, I don't know, maybe someone else wants to borrow them or like I ever want to reread them. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep them for like basically nostalgia reasons. <laughs> so I put them back there because otherwise it would be too full <laughs> and I think that's kind of what I'm gonna have to do eventually anyway with some more books because it's definitely getting full, but I would really like it if I would man could manage to just have like one row and then books that I don't really care about, I'll just pile in the back, I guess. Um, yeah, let me know if you want a like full bookshelf tour where I go through every single book. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, they haven't really been popular on YouTube either, so I don't know, just let me know if you, if you care to know that. But yeah, overall, I'm just really happy with how it looks. And I like that I now have like this, just like a book wall, pretty much. I haven't actually done anything. I haven't even um, dusted this off, but I also need to still go through. These are TBR books. I still need to go through these and um, decide which to unhaul. And yeah, I'm just excited, I guess, that... My shelves look so good now. Yay! <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna end this organizational, organize with me, clean with me, I don't really know what you want to call it, video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah. Let me know if there's any other questions that you want me to answer about my books or my bookshelves. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Until then, have a lovely week. Just hit myself in the face. Have a lovely week. Bye.